Good morning, I'm NTV Chief Meteorologist Eddie Shear. It's September 11th, 2017. This is your weather vlog. Hurricane Irma still spinning across the Florida Peninsula this morning here in the Florida Panhandle. Right now, very heavy rainfall onto Georgia, and we are still seeing those gusty winds around the center, which is just north of Tampa this morning across northern areas of Florida. Irma heading north, northwest at 29 kilometers per hour. Barometric pressure has come up to 965, winds 120, gusting 150, puts Irma as a Category 1. Next few days, Irma will continue that north-northwesterly track into Georgia by, I would say, early this afternoon. Alabama, late tonight, early Tuesday morning, and then into Tennessee by Wednesday as a remnant tropical low. Much of Alabama and Georgia, many areas, I should say, will see heavy rain and severe weather and gusty winds from Hurricane Irma as it tracks that way. Upwards of 3 million people in Florida right now are without electricity from the storm tracking through the state. Rainfall warning in place for the Avalon Peninsula. We have seen very significant rainfall over the last couple of days, really since Friday, nearly 100 millimeters in spots. And the rain is going to continue through today into tomorrow before finally ending tomorrow night or Wednesday. Forecast rainfall between now, or I should say yesterday night, and 11 o'clock tomorrow evening. Another 50, 60 millimeters on the Avalon Peninsula, less than the southwest. But it also looks like central and western Newfoundland going to get in on the action, as well as a narrow band of heavy rain pushes in there uh, later tonight and tomorrow from an area of low pressure down to our south. Uh, as we take a look at the satellite and radar imagery, one band of rain moved north a few hours ago. Now we're seeing rain redeveloping across much of the Avalon Peninsula. Uh, some of it is light, but because it's windy, it's certainly a nasty day with the rain, the drizzle, and the fog on the go for eastern sides of the island. And as uh, we take a look at the uh, slightly wider picture here, uh, what we can see is some spin around the Nova Scotia area. That's an area of low pressure, which is somewhere down in here. Not exactly 100% sure where it is, at least on the satellite imagery, because the computer has it plotted over here. But my meteorological expertise tells me the low is somewhere in here based on that comma. Either way, uh, this low is going to help drive the unsettled weather over the next couple of days across the island. And, uh, you know, we can't see rainfall down farther south than much of Newfoundland and really any further east than what you're seeing here in Nova Scotia because there is no radar out over the ocean. But this new satellite that we have called GO-16 does a pretty good job in letting me know where I think the moisture is. And as we can see, an immense amount of bright white cloud tops down to our south. This is all probably rain funneling up towards Newfoundland, especially where it takes on that real textured almost look to it. And, you know, you might have read yesterday that the moisture that we were seeing was from Hurricane Irma. Well, that's probably slightly true this morning, but it wasn't true yesterday because the moisture that we had in here over the weekend, while it was coming from the Gulf of Mexico, it wasn't coming from Hurricane Irma directly. And now that Hurricane Irma is almost in the Gulf of Mexico, you might look at this map and say, oh my goodness, I can definitely draw the comparison that the moisture from Irma is coming up and feeding right into Atlantic Canada. But if I put on the wind particles, what you can see is the moisture is not coming here from Irma. There's a big, looks like there's a big low out here, but there's also an area of high pressure out in the Atlantic as well. So what you're seeing is generally the mean wind flow pattern going like this, going around Hurricane Jose, which you see there, and then turning up more north toward Newfoundland. So while you might try and make that comparison, or that, I guess, you might try to make that um, seem like it's actually happening. At this point, it looks like it's not because the wind stream lines before we get to Irma are cut off and actually heading into Irma and not heading toward Newfoundland and Labrador. Interesting, though, nonetheless. So here's Futurecast will take us through today. Low pressure center down to the south. That slowly drifts northward. We see rain across southern and eastern areas this afternoon. And that's just going to persist as we go into the evening. The rain becomes heavy at times again across the Avalon, Bonavista Peninsulas, and the south coast. By midnight, we are still seeing the rain across the Avalon Peninsula, Bonavista Peninsula, pushing into northeastern Newfoundland, back across central and down to the south coast, just south of the Trans-Canada Highway. 
by tomorrow morning. Narrow swath of heavy rain from near Gander back to near Corner Brook while Labrador is quiet. And it looks like we are finally beginning to see the rain ending on the Avalon by tomorrow morning. Although the RDF may persist through tomorrow as we have the onshore flow by noon. Many areas of Newfoundland north of the Trans-Canada are seeing the rain. And then it looks like that band of rain pushing on to the northern peninsula, Bayver Peninsula, and central north of the TCH by tomorrow night. And some of that may work into Labrador early Wednesday, but the weather as we go into midweek should generally begin to improve. Temperatures today going to be into the teens in the east and low teens at that, mid to upper teens in the west with some breaks of sun and cloud. And into Labrador, temperatures today, single numbers along the coast, warming up to the teens as we get into Lab West. One more quick look at Hurricane Irma for you before I go. Have a great afternoon. Great morning, I should say. Stay safe if you're driving. I'll see you this evening with your latest forecast on NTV between 6 and 7 o'clock on the evening news hour and between 5.30 and 6 on First Edition. Have a great day, and I'll see you tonight.